Here are the facts. For several decades, Denver, Colorado has been a growing metropolis. As early as 1989, local businesses and government agencies began to plan for a newer, larger airport. In 1995, the Denver International Airport opened and was hailed as one of the most advanced airports in the United States. With an area of over 55 square miles, it's also one of the largest. But to some people, this is no ordinary airport. Here's where it gets crazy. Conspiracy theorists like Phil Schneider think it's a front for an extensive underground base, alternately described as an alien enclave, a concentration camp, and a refuge in case of an apocalypse. This airport is reportedly much more than it seems to be on the surface. But what do conspiracists propose as evidence of these allegations? First, there are several odd pieces of art in the complex. Consider the murals depicting alternating scenes of multicultural peace and violence. One panel depicts a group of unburied coffins, and another shows semi-human soldiers trampling flowers and stabbing doves. But there's one obvious problem with taking these paintings as a sign from some new world order. Why would the airport's designers publicize this plan, especially if it's supposed to be a secret? To theorists, this could be either arrogance on the part of the conspirators or a hint by a sympathetic faction to alert lay people of the coming disaster. According to Leo Tanguma, the artist who painted the murals, these allegations are baseless and the assumptions are incorrect. Theorists such as Alex Christopher accused Tanguma of being paid off by the New World government. And then there's the capstone in the southeastern terminal side of the airport, which bears the square and compass so of the Freemasons. There's also a time capsule under this stone, meant to be opened in 2094. Inscriptions also pepper the floor of the airport, most notably the Navajo phrase, Zit Dit Gai, which means the mountain is white. If that's not enough, consider the 32-foot-tall statue of a blue horse just outside. Even conspiracy theorists don't know what to make of this one. So why did Phil Schneider believe the airport is some sort of base for the New World Order? He claimed that he was involved in the construction of multiple underground bases, and that one of these is below the Denver airport. He also claimed that he survived an alien-human battle and was monitored by invisible government agents. Like many conspiracy theorists, he believed he was in danger and targeted by the powers that be. Was he correct? Phil Schneider's body was found on January 17, 1996. Police ruled it a suicide. Many of his family and friends believe he was murdered. In an open letter, Phil's wife states that his lecture materials were missing. Was Phil Schneider onto something? What exactly is going on at the airport 25 miles northeast of Denver? Could it just be ambiguous art inspiring an army of conspiracy nuts? Could there be something else buried under the Colorado dirt? Something they don't want you to know.